Good morning, boys and girls and all families who might, and all people who might be joining us for our religion class today. You see on our whiteboard is the virtue we're going to speak about this day, perseverance. It's a really big, long word. I almost ran out of space at the end here for this big word, perseverance. We'll talk about the virtue, about a Bible story, then a demonstration, then a saint who had the great virtue of perseverance. But let's start in prayer for our religion class today. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Pray with me, please. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Saint Bernadette, pray for us. Saint James, pray for us. Saint Teresa of Calcutta, pray for us. Saint Francis de Sales, Pray for us, St. Michael the Archangel, pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. So again, friends, our virtue for our religion class today is perseverance. It's a big, long word that simply means keep going, don't give up, keep practicing and practicing, keep on going have the virtue of perseverance. Keep going and practice. Keep going and never ever give up. Persevere in God, in God's help, and the help from Jesus. Maybe an example of perseverance, a demonstration, and you could do this at home uh, later after our class for today. So I brought with me this today an uh, ice cube. See our ice cube? And what we're going to do today about perseverance, to give an example, can you persevere and keep going so that this ice cube will disappear in your hands by rubbing it? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it in my hand and then I'm gonna keep rubbing it. And you have to help me, encourage me, say, Keep going, Father Keith. Go, go, go. Don't give up. Ready? So let's see how much I can make it disappear. Here I go. Here I go. I can't hear you. Come on. Go, 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 go. Don't give up. Go, go. Don't give up. Go, go. Don't give up. Here we go. Here we go. And the ice cube is getting smaller and smaller. And I keep, can, I don't have time, but I can keep going and going and going. And what do you think is going to happen? It's going to disappear. Thank you for helping me. Helping me perseverance. So I can have the virtue of perseverance. Keep going. Helping. Keep on practicing and going and going. Don't give up. Perseverance. Got to draw my hands off for a moment. So we saw here, dear friends, let me get my glass, my dollar store glasses. The goal is to melt the ice cube using your hands. You can keep it in your hand and rub the ice cube till it's all melted. Try not to drop it. It's going to get really cold, but this is, is your time to practice perseverance. Never ever give up. While you, or maybe your brother or your sister, if you have a brother or sister or a cousin who is with you self-isolation, you can even have a little, not competition, but see how fast you can go. Because you're working hard to make the ice cube melt. And I heard you digitally, I probably heard you, with encouraging words. You can do it. Way to go. Good job. Awesome. Don't quit. Don't quit. 
Keep going. You're doing a great job. Keep persevering right on. Well, you know, there are many ways that we can show perseverance by practicing and practicing perseverance every day, not giving up. Can you think of some examples in your life? Maybe I'll give one example. For example, um, playing a musical instrument. Maybe you start and it's a bit frustrating. It's a bit challenging. It's difficult to do. But you say, I have perseverance. God will help me. People will encourage me. Don't give up. Don't give up. Keep going. Have perseverance. And you practice and practice that musical instrument. You don't give up. Keep practicing. Keep going on perseverance. Can you think of other examples where you in your life can show and keep perseverance? Uh, give me just one more example. Can't hear you. Excellent. So for example, perseverance in maybe doing your at home school studies. Don't give up. Keep going. You're doing a great job. Persevering. Keep persevering. It might be with other things in your life. Maybe it's a new sport. A new sport you're practicing and you're almost ready to give it up. But you say, I will persevere. I will keep practicing. I'll go on. God and so many people are helping me and encouraging me. Maybe some of you, it's a new skill. Uh, maybe your little brother or sister. Maybe do you remember when you learned how to ride a bicycle? Maybe you fell down. Maybe your parent or someone helped you. And you kept practicing and practicing. You didn't quit. You didn't quit learning how to ride a bicycle. Perseverance. Don't quit. And I bet you, you know how to ride your bicycle now. Don't give up, especially when things get tough. Don't give up. And we know many people in history that also had perseverance, that kept going and going and never, ever gave up. God helped them. God encouraged them. And people around them, please, Lord, people around them kept saying, keep going. Persevere. Don't give up. Don't give up. So, friends, it is really possible to work through your challenges and to achieve your goal. Someone said, be like a postage stamp. Stick to it. Stick to it until you get there. As a Christian, we persevere and our goal is to get to heaven. It takes perseverance. It takes perseverance to live your faith. It takes perseverance to live our faith every day. Don't give up. Don't quit. Keep going. Even in the world we are in now, which is very unusual, it might feel, oh, I feel like quitting. I, I feel like just stopping. I don't want to do that anymore, this anymore. But the virtue of perseverance, God and many people are saying, don't give up. God's on your side. Persevere. Keep going. And especially for a Christian, keep going to your goal in heaven. Our Bible story for today. Our Bible story for today is the story of Daniel in the lion's den. Some of you may know this story quite well. Daniel, who by the king was put in the lion's den. The king wanted Daniel to die and the animals, the lions to get him. But he was brave. Daniel was very, very brave and didn't quit, didn't say no to God, and he felt encouraged and persevered 
and had perseverance. The story of Daniel. As I say, once upon a time, there was a very powerful king. See the crown? And here, we'll put him kind of mad. Here was the king. And the king was there in his palace. And the king called Daniel before him and said to Daniel, Daniel, stop it. Daniel, quit living a life in God. Daniel, I want you now to stop persevering. Give up on God. But Daniel, he would say, no, I cannot give up on God. The king said, quit. Quit believing. Quit being a nice person. Quit being patient. Quit trusting God. But Daniel told the king, no, I will persevere. No matter what challenges, no matter what problems or difficulties, no matter what challenges, I will persevere and not quit on God. The king then said, Aha, I will put you with the lions. I will put you in the lion's den. Daniel, will you quit? Will you quit, Daniel, in following God? For I'm about to place you in the den with the lions. And again, Daniel, perseverance, no matter what challenges, he was there and said, I will not quit on God. They took Daniel and they put him in the cage. We might have been scared, right? You're going to be in the cage with the lion. And here in the cage, they placed Daniel and he knelt down and prayed and prayed to God. I don't want to quit. I will not quit on God. Perseverance be with me. The king, as he watched Daniel in the lion's den, in the cave and the place, of the lion, he was so impressed when he saw Daniel. The end. Again, boys and girls, wouldn't it be interesting if you did this as a drama after our religion class for today? Again, it can be with your parent. It can be with if you have brothers or sisters or others who are allowed to be with you. Um, or you can even do this, you know, on the screen with a friend of yours, um, and so on. One of you can be the king. One of you can be Daniel. Yeah, maybe one of you can be the lion. Pretend to be a lion on, on, the, on the ground. And you can have the drama of the Bible story of Daniel. In the Bible, Daniel, who never quit, Never quit God. Never gave up on the faith. Daniel, who had the great gift, perseverance. Perseverance. Our saint for today. Oh, first I'll read the story. Excuse me. A long time ago, there lived a man named Daniel. Daniel was a very important man in the kingdom, and he loved God with all our heart. King Darius, what was his name? Darius, 
really loved Daniel because Daniel was a faithful man. However, there were other evil men in the kingdom who did not want Daniel around, so they called King Darius to make a law that if someone prayed to anyone other than the king, they would be thrown in the lion's den. Daniel was a man who spent a lot of time in prayer. Three times every day, Daniel would kneel down at home and pray, thanking God for his blessing, asking him for help, asking him for wisdom. Even when he knew it was against the law, Daniel continued to pray. The evil man found Daniel praying one day, reported him to the king. The king was sad, but he knew what he had to do. He took Daniel and threw him into the den of the lions. The king said, If such is your God, pray faithfully, and your God will deliver you or not. Daniel was left alone with the den filled with lions. The king left Daniel with the lions all night, and the next morning when the sun came up, the king ran out, and he was shocked. Daniel, your God has saved you from the lions. Daniel came out of the lion's den, safe, because he trusted in God and persevered in prayer he never quit praying. He knew the power of prayer and that God would always be with him, whether Daniel was at home or Daniel was in the den of hungry lions. So a few questions. What was the name of the famous man in the jail? What's his name? Daniel. The king, did you hear his name? Did, what was the king's name? King Darius. And it said in our story here, how many times a day did Daniel stop and pray? Three times. Daniel prayed three times every single day. Do you have a favorite prayer? Do you have a place where you like to pray? Don't quit praying. Don't quit being a nice person. God is there to help you. And many people are there to encourage you. Don't quit. Keep going. Perseverance. Our saint for today. Many of you may know, many of the saints were had great perseverance. I think some of you know this one. Sorry, King. You know her name? Who's this? I know many, many of you may know her. Saint Teresa, or in French, because she was from France, Saint Therese, Saint Therese of Les Jeux. Les Jeux is the place where St. Therese was born and lived. St. Therese had great perseverance. St. Therese relied on God, and many people encouraged St. Therese and helped her. This is the story of St. Therese and the young girl who never, ever would give up. The saint for today, originally she was known as Marie Frances Therese Martin. So her last name, let me go over here, excuse me. Her last name, Martin. She had wonderful parents. Her father was a watchmaker and her mother ran a small business. Her mother and her father were great saints. And actually the Pope 
uh, about five years ago, named her mother and her father saints as well. So there's three saints in this family. So her mother and her father were very saintly. Her mother used to make lace, special, special little craft. St. Therese is often known as the little flower. The little flower. See the roses that she has there? And indeed, St. Therese, at a very, very young age, that she always wanted to become a nun, to become a sister. At a very young age, you see how she is dressed here? She became a Carmelite. Can you say that? Carmelite nun in France. She spent a lot of her time in prayer and a lot of time working. Whether it be working where she lived with the other sisters. And no matter what, she would not quit. Perseverance. Even a small job that they gave to St. Therese. She said, I'll do small things with a lot of love. Even though it seems such a small thing and not important, doesn't matter. She says, yes, it all matters. I will do small things with great love because the small things I do with a lot of love I'm not going to quit even the small things because of love. St. Therese, that she unfortunately became very sick. There became a disease known as tuberculosis. Maybe with the world now, a lot of people are sick in the world. Pray this week to St. Therese, because she had also um, problems breathing too. She had tuberculosis. And she would cough and cough, and even blood would be on her handkerchief, on her cloth, her Kleenex <coughs> thing. But she wasn't scared. She didn't quit or give up. She didn't quit on God. She didn't quit being a nice girl. She didn't stop and quit being a nice person. She had perseverance. And no matter how much it hurt, she would be strong and she would carry the cross of Jesus. She would have great perseverance. She died when she was 24 years old. She's a very famous saint. And especially with our virtue of today, perseverance. If we feel like quitting or giving up or we don't want to do that anymore or we're causing problems for other people, no, don't quit. Don't give up. Have the virtue from God of perseverance. Remember Daniel. Keep going. Remember St. Therese of Jeux. Keep going, even when it hurts. Even when it hurts, it hurts. It hurts our heart, hurts our brain sometimes. Don't quit. Keep on going. Well, thank you for joining us today for our religion class. Miss Shelley will be on Thursday again, live streaming the game and the snack. I do have the list. Excuse me. So if you do wish to join in on the St. Bernadette group page, you have to go to the group page. Um, you need the following for the craft and for the snack for our religion class. Please, of course, have construction paper, glue or tape, and scissors. And they're creating a craft for what's known as the Beatitudes, Blessed are the poor. Blessed are the peacemakers. The snack. And you have some time, or you might still have these in your home. Uh, very famous snacks. And that is goldfish. You know, the snack goldfish. Pretzels. 
bugles, sunflower seeds, raisins, M&Ms, Hershey Kisses. You can repeat and go back through this video of that list of all those wonderful, wonderful snack items. So again, the craft, the snack, and the follow-up. Also posted on the St. Bernadette group page are the prayer card of St. Perez. There again is many follow-up of our Bible story and our virtue of today, perseverance. Boys and girls and everybody, let's have, especially in these days, this virtue, this gift from God of perseverance. Let us end now our religion class with our prayer and our priestly blessing to all of you. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray the Hail Mary. It is the month of May. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. St. Therese of Lisieux, pray for us. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a wonderful week, boys and girls, and all joining our religion class for this day. God bless you one and all.